Hi, my name's Irrelevant, and if you have any plans to make something resembling a guitar playing video, the cool thing to do is to have that nice down the neck camera angle, you know? So you see you playing, you see your fingers going, giving her, giving her, and today I'm going to try to see if I can fashion some sort of camera mount out of uh, DIY components. So seeing here is my usual affair of quarter 20 components that I keep in stock for improvised mounting cameras in general because quarter 20 is the same thread as the tripod stud on your camera. We are gonna be using those to connect all this together, hopefully, and seeing if we can uh, get stuff to clamp up. Added to the complement is these zinc plated steel uh, bars and I am doubling them up for rigidity because they can flex to some capacity and we don't want that. We want this to be sturdy. And well, my typical wing nuts, uh, they might not uh, fit into the tight spaces so I got standard nuts here and hopefully that's gonna do it for me. And we got a couple extra longs just in case, even though I think I already have an extra long in stock, but I just didn't want to be without them if I needed them. Is that even that long? Okay, no, these are even longer, so that's good. It gives us options. Now, hopefully, you can kind of see what's going on here. And I'm hoping these guys, you know, ooh, the tuning machines might make it trickier. But I think typically, you'd probably go something like this, right? Something like that. So that might do. I was thinking maybe putting a clamp point here, a falcon point and a camera mount point, but maybe a little bit more purchase will be nice. Well, we could try it either way. So just have to make sure these guys are straight. Get this crap label off. Some of these are already uh, pre-bent, which is, I guess, a bonus feature. It's not a flaw, it's a feature. Okay, that one feels nice and flat on this side. That one feels nice and flat on this side. So what we're gonna do to start things off is we're, we're gonna wanna rubberize this. Now I have here some rubberized electrical tape. Rubberized, it's not standard electrical tape. It's actually thicker and heavier than normal electrical tape and very much more rubberier. I don't know how the adhesive on it is because the adhesive on electrical tape tends to be a bit crappy and goes bad over time and it's already being difficult to cut so we're gonna need some sharper scissors. Yeah, these are some fine sewing scissors, sir. Now I'm thinking, well look at that. It's just the right width, sir. Well, let's pull a little bit on the other side too. We can make it just a touch longer. All right, so the hopes is this is gonna give us a relatively good purchase on here when we clamp it down. You know, we have the option to put a bolt through here too. That's the thing, you're trying to figure out just where the ideal spot is for it to get the, the angle that you want. So that's gonna require a little bit of experimentation. Is there enough room to slip? Ooh, that might screw with my tuning. <laughs> Unforeseen consequences. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna assume we're doing it up here for now. So let's um, get some hardware mounted on this. So the idea that I had planned was to put this through there and the more longer one through here because once I get it in place, that's gonna double as my camera stud. And it looks like we'll have plenty of thread for it. So the question then lends, do we have room for two nuts in between here? Yep, two nuts and a lock washer though. Nope, unless that lock washer compresses heavily, which it might. Kind of wanted to uh, lock this part into place so that it doesn't come loose on me. We'll try it. We can always take it off if it doesn't work, right? Oh, nice and tight already. Now we gotta get another set of nuts on there because we need a fulcrum point. If we just go ahead and tighten this down without a falcon point, it's just gonna kinda go like this, you know? So the idea is, once I bolt that onto there, so now we're gonna get a wing nut into place. Fasten it down till it seems roughly flush. Jeez, this is feeling tight already. I feel like I need that falcon point to come up a bit. How's that look now? Pretty good, pretty good. The only thing I'm forgetting is I planned on doubling this up. 
Let's get our second bar into place. Now let's tighten it down. Hmm. See that? It's moving a bit on us, but we have a fulcrum point. So it's all a case of adjusting the geometry now. So let's snug dish one up. I need to get a little wrench that's gonna go in there. I wonder what size wrench that is. I don't really have imperial wrenches. I only have rebel wrenches. Oh, 11 mil's gonna do. So, let's put some tension on this fulcrum here. Still no go. Let's uh, snoot it down closer. Now I'm seeing that our fulcrum is actually loose. Hmm, I'm not sure how actually effective this is gonna be. I'd like for it to work and be this easy. Gripping pretty hard here, but not elsewhere. Oi! Well, all I'm left to do is to test on it, right? All right, so... Now, in order to do this properly, I need something resembling a small head. Well, there is another option. I have these, um, these cell phone mounts Gonna need another nut. Uh, before we clamp it down too hard, let's uh, aim on it a bit. Of course, you're gonna want like something that will translate well. So, oh, you know, this mount is so flimsy, this phone's probably gonna wobble around everywhere and not be the best solution. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna work, now is it? Well, let's turn on the camera and see what we got. I can't tell because this part's in the way. So we should reverse this. Ah! Well, not bad. It'd be nice to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, well, let's take a little, little, little video here, sure. Yeah, I imagine we'll rock it out like Okay, let's see what that looks like. That's pretty shaky, bud. Okay, now uh, there are uh, more options here. If I take this thing apart, this screws off the brick, and then there's a, a, another stud on it, so I can pretty much remove it all together. Let's get the phone back in there. Make sure we got, you know, a decent amount of threading on there. Tighten her back up. All right. Now how's this look? Well, either way, a little bit of shaky, a little bit of shaky. A little bit of rocking out, a little bit of rocking out. Oh boy, it's really changing the balance on me. That might be a bit of a deal breaker because like I'm not used to it wanting to, um, do that. Really. Okay, well, let's see how that looks now. It seems pretty steady now. It is like hard locked on there. Boom! 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 Now there is one more configuration which shall be considered. And it is the understanding that I might want to connect a real camera up to it. Like, uh, like this guy here. <laughs> we just gotta get her down from its little mount. Oh, I got wires hanging down here, bud. Already in stock, I have this um, component known as a uh, compact ball head. It's by Neewer, it's the slightly higher end one, but it, it's been a really good tool to have. So, question is, if I go ahead and mount this ball head on here, I gotta be careful because it's aluminum, so don't over torque it. I should be able to now mount a real camera like my ZV-1. <laughs> ZV-1. I'm Canadian and I never say Z. I gotta be careful now because this is, this is asking to get smashed. And, oh. Um, fortunately, if we loosen the ball head, we can, we can tweak on this. Now this is the widest this camera goes, but that, that's a good angle. How's the balance though?
Yeah, uh, it, it'll be manageable. I think if I, you know, because I have a slide pad here and it's sliding through that pad, I bet you if I put some method of, no, it's just gonna still slide down. Oh well, and it feels good on there, man. And that angle, that angle's pretty lit. How about if I tweak it up a bit? I wanna get a little bit of the guitar neck, but I'd like to get some of me too. No, no, that's not gonna happen. It's guitar neck only with this camera. It doesn't have wide enough of an angle. You know what does have wide enough of an angle though? We can try a little something different here. Something a little bit more conventional. My A900, the potato cam. Yeah, she should go wider. All right, let's get it on there. Problem is, this guy looks like it's confused as to what to focus on. Well, I thought it had a wider angle. Well, it, it, it does, I guess, but not enough to catch my face. Like, you know, you could, you could go selfie style like this. But the problem with this is if I'm trying to translate it into, you know, proper widescreen format, 1080p, I'd have to be like offside. I'm sure the ZV-1 could pull this off too and probably look better doing it. This might be a candidate for the down the, sh down the neck shot if I don't wanna use one of my better cameras. Now mind you, because of where the bipod stud is, or the tripod stud, it's also a lot closer to the neck. It's not getting, yeah, the ZV-1 is does this better. All right. And like, it has a little bit of flex, but as long as that tape grips. And again, we can always adjust this down and put, you know, in the nook of the neck here, put another bolt on here, and then um, that kind of solves the problem. But so far it's like, it doesn't feel like it wants to go anywhere. I'm gonna call this a success. For the price, now this isn't the cheapest tape in the world. Alternatively, T-Rex tape is very expensive. That, that's another thing that I think would work well and work better. But I paid about $15 at the hardware store for the parts that I purchased today to make this. Uh, a little bit of extra nuts and bolts, you know. Somewhere between $20 and $30 you could throw this together, not including the Neewer ball mount or the cell phone mount. You still need some sort of head to put on the end of this to call it good. But yeah, if you already have some photographic hardware of this nature and you just need to be able to clamp it down onto a guitar, well, I think we have a solution here. Still screwing me up a bit, but it's gonna have to do.